I've lost 180 pounds with a combination of carnivore, keto, and counting calories. I reached my goal in November of 2022, and over the past year and a half, I've noticed the scale went up about 8 pounds. Let's experiment with carnivore and counting calories and see what improvements I can make. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Hello. Um, it is time for our brunch. So around here, like whenever I eat like a mostly meat, um, I kind of slide into a two meals a day. And so um, today for our brunch, <clears throat> when I made coffles Monday, I guess it was, I had to break off part of one of my burgers. Well, so today's Terry is being shortchanged a third of a burger. So to make up for that, I took a, a, a tablespoon, I guess. I don't know. I weighed it out, but some ghee um, to make up for the calories that I lost with that burger. Because you know, you know I ain't going to miss out on no calories. Come on now. Come on. We know better than that. So what I did was last night. So when you microwave ghee uh, and fat, sometimes if you do it in plastic, yes, Calm down, plastic police. Um, it will burn. It will it will uh, like burn a hole in the plastic. So I brought it in glass today. I know that ought to make the black practice plastic police happy. Go Terry. Go Terry. Good job. Good job. So anyway, um, um, so I kind of want to have a conversation with y'all. And um, hang on, let me wipe this off because I I hold this with my hand. Obviously, with my hand, you're gonna hold it with my toes. And I, what I don't like is I don't like getting like the top edge. I don't like it to be goopy. Well, first off, we're gonna take a bite. So we've got some ketchup, some minced onions, and ghee. And um, two and a third burgers. So. All right, that's enough of that. So, let's talk. First off, good job, Terry. You done good. You done good. Maybe I better have another bite. Okay. So... I want to have a talk with y'all because, you know, I tell you guys everything. Things I shouldn't tell y'all, I still tell y'all. Um, <clears throat> I didn't eat anything different last night, so it's not about the actual food or anything. My whole life since I hit puberty between, I think it was somewhere between 5th and 6th grade. I don't know how old you are at that age. But somewhere uh, between 5th and 6th grade is whenever Mother Nature hit and I just hit a brick wall. And that's whenever I started not playing outside. Um, I started eating more. Um, I started gaining weight. So since that age, whatever that age is, um, I have never, ever been at what is considered a healthy weight. So I looked at my BMI, and yes, I know the BMI is not perfect, but I don't care about that. Um, <clears throat> I looked at the BMI, and I'm going to do it again real quick just to make sure that I'm not incorrect about my numbers. Just a second. Okay, so according to the BMI scale, for my height, I am five foot four. So that would mean I should be, in to be healthy, 110 pounds to 145 pounds. At 150, I'm considered obese. Or, I mean, I'm considered, well, whatever the next step. Oh, um, overweight. So, like, right now, I'm considered overweight. And I get it. <clears throat> you know, muscle isn't counted into that. And there's so many things that are, are taken into account. And I don't care about all that. We're, that's not what we're here to talk about. <clears throat> Something I have been thinking about, and I'm not saying I'm doing it. I'm not saying I'm not doing it. I'm just saying it's something that I am thinking about in my head. If if I'm trying to right now get to 158, part of me thinks, well, why don't you go to 145, which is, hang on. <clears throat> 
13 pounds of difference. Again, I don't know. Um, I would not cut my calories any more than I already have. I would continue eating what I'm eating and continue with the 1,700 calories. Really, more or less, just to see what happens, to see if by eating 1,700 calories, if I could get to that weight. I don't know. <clears throat> it's just something that I'm bouncing around in my head. Again, I'm not saying I'm going to, not saying I'm not going to. It's just something I'm bouncing around in my head. I think it would be pretty cool for somebody who has been um, obese and morbidly obese. And what's the high, what's the worst one? Extremely obese. Somebody who's been in all those categories to actually be in a healthy weight. So <clears throat> I really kind of want to try it. Um, I don't know. Like I said, but it's something I'm thinking about. Um, but again, I'm not going to, I really don't necessarily want to drop lower than 1,700 calories. Um, it's not about starving myself or do, being unhealthy because obviously whatever I'm eating right now <clears throat> is the scale is moving and <clears throat> my female hormones are regulating. So whatever I'm doing right now is working. So it's not that I want to just jump and change anything. So I'm just kind of bouncing this idea in my head, just kind of considering, okay, well, when you lose, because let's see, this morning I was 159. So <clears throat> when I, well, 159 point something. So when I lose two more pounds, <clears throat> do I want to just jump back up to higher calorie? And do I want to add fruit I, I, and vegetables? I don't really know. Because like I said, I do feel good. So I'm just kind of bouncing these ideas in my mind. And, you know, you know, I tell you all because I, I value your input. You know what I mean? I don't I don't take these things lightly. And And I feel like we're all in this journey together. We're all experiencing the same issues. We're all experiencing hunger, um, the confusion about what do we eat, the confusion about how much we eat, the confusion about how do we decide which way to eat. Um, what do we listen to our doctor? Do we listen to a dietitian? Do we listen to some random person named Terry Least online? You know what I mean? So I feel like we're all kind of on the same type of journey. So I have a feeling that we've all had the some of the same thoughts. You know what I mean? <clears throat> I know at 340 pounds, my goal was just to get to where I was considered in the obese category. And let me see where that is at my height. 5'4". Hang on. Got it open right here. Well, I got... Uh, this says 170. So, that's not the one that I must, must not be the same scale I used before because the one I looked at before said I was considered overweight when I was um, um, 160 pounds. So, I wanted to be 158, so I had a little leeway there. So, anyway, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. Um, I'm going to look at some more BMI scales and see. <clears throat> but based on what I found for my height, I should be 145 to be healthy. And again, I'm not I'm not um, here to debate about what the BMI scale says is right or wrong. It's just something I'm thinking about. I don't know if I would look bad. I don't know if I would feel bad. Um, so if I were to try it, if I were to experiment, I would like to experiment with 17 hundred ish like what I'm doing now calories and see if I ate these calories you know for a long time would my scale go down I still I have two trips coming up um, one of them is a work trip where I'm going out of town and so <clears throat> I will be um, 
will be out of town for four days. And so with that, I will, um, um, you know, I'll be bringing my burgers and my coffee stuff, but there's still, I will still probably pick some things off the salad bar or whatever, you know what I mean? So I am going to be eating vegetables on that work trip. So then I'll come home and then I'll have to detox for a little bit. And then <clears throat> in about two or three months, my mom and my sister who lives in Missouri, we're going to go see my sister in Pennsylvania. We're going to fly up there for a trip. So, um, and so then again, when I get there, I'm going to talk to her about making some burgers before we get up there, or at least buying some and me making them, whatever she wants to do. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, I'm gonna talk to her about that. But, um, anyway, so I will still be trying to keep my burgers as my main source of food, but I will also be supplementing with veggies and, and protein shakes and whatnot. So, um, anyway, I just, it, so it's not like something that's going to happen overnight, okay? Weight loss is a long, it's a long journey, okay? It took me three years and three months to lose my 180 pounds. It's not something that just, you know, changes overnight. So, you know, me trying to get to, if I try to get to 145, it's not going to be overnight. We're talking Christmas, no, not even Christmas. We're talking like New Year's, Easter, 4th of July, that time frame. Because 13 pounds, it's going to take a while. So anyway, I don't know. I really don't know what I'm going to do. I just, you know, whenever I have a thought in my head, I like to share it with you guys and, and just kind of, you know, let you all know what I'm thinking and where I'm thinking and all that good stuff. So I would be curious for somebody who is not into physical activity, eating 1,700 calories, what a weight would get to at that weight. Now, I know I could plug it into some track or something other, but those are not always accurate. Um, so, especially since by doing more mostly meat, that's going to be a little bit different. So, I don't know. Like I said, I just wanted to share that with you guys and let you know kind of where my brain's at. Again, this is not a decision I'm making today. Um, cause I still got to lose two more pounds uh, doing, you know, till I get to my lowest, so my lowest was 158 and that's where I'm trying to get back to. So <clears throat> my official way day is Friday or Saturday. So I don't care what my scale said this morning. It doesn't count. I just weigh it because I like to check in, see how things are doing. So anyway, yeah. So I'll keep you up to date on what I'm going to decide. But I said today's Wednesday and I just figured I'd share with you what's in my brain. So all right, I love you guys and I'll see you at Lupper. Hey, so here's something that um, somebody I know is um, doing the, the shot, that GLP-1 shot. And hey, I am all for it if that's what helps somebody lose weight and get healthier. So I will never uh, put down somebody for doing that or, or Weight Watcher or vegan or whatever it takes because we all have different needs. But that's beside the point. But that was just a little disclaimer. So don't be coming into my comments hating on people that are taking, doing other methods for losing weight. Anyway, but they were reading the little insert that comes with their injection medicine. And they were saying that what they what it said in this, now I don't fully understand it, and we know I ain't about the research, but I know Gidget is. Um, <clears throat> anyway, she was saying that on the insert, it said, don't drink liquids with your meals because since it's the insulin slows down the digestion, I don't know, whatever she said, but anyway, since it slows down your digestion, if you drink water with it, it flushes it through faster. And the point is to have your stomach be, um, you know, to have it slowly digest. So we were talking about that and I'm like, I wonder if that affects people who are not 
taken the GLP-1. You know, for those, those of us who grew up in the 80s, you know, that was the whole fat-free phase, fill-up-on-water phase. You know, they, they always drink a glass of water. Like when Weight Watchers, drink a glass of water before your meals and fill up. So now I'm wondering if um, if that little insert that she was talking about I wonder if that's just because of the the medication slows digestion, so they don't want you to drink the water with it, or because does it flush like it's saying, or is it because that you'd fill up with water faster and they want to make sure you get nutrition? I'm just I'm just super curious. So anyway, but that's something she said. So the whole point of that is, you know, all these years we've been told drink a glass of water with your meal so you fill up faster. I wonder if it's if I wonder I wonder which is right. It just makes you wonder. Of course, the same people who are saying that were the same people that were saying eat low fat. You got to make sure you eat low fat. So I don't know. I don't know. But I just thought that was interesting. So oh well. I just you know I share everything with y'all. If I see a dog poop outside in our in our parking lot, you know I'm gonna come tell. I'm going to tell y'all if I see any dumb thing or, or hear anything. So, all right, all right, bye. You'll be happy to know we just had a fire drill and I made it outside it's before the place burned down. So, yay, Terry. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, fire drill and I made it out just like I was supposed to. Bye. You guys, look what I just made. I just made this here. So easy peasy. I'm going to tell you. Y'all have seen it. Look, don't you lecture me. Don't be lecturing me. I plug it all in. Okay, so we start off with my cup. And we put just like like maybe a teaspoon of my chocolate electrolytes on the bottom. Just a teaspoon, if that. Then I take two teaspoons of some kind of instant coffee. When this runs out, I might try a different one. I don't know. This is just the one I saw on the TikTok. So then, so about a half teaspoon of this and about two teaspoons of this. And then I add in, <clears throat> I don't know, pst, maybe a pst amount of this. You put in what works for you. And so, and this is the flavor I've got here at work. The thin pumpkin caramel. So it's a sugar, sugar-free one. Then I put in just a little pss, pss of this. So this I got at TJ Maxx, and this I got at the Walmart over by the ice cream syrup. Not the coffee, but the ice cream syrup. This does have a, if you put too much, so you really have to just do a little pss, pss and that's it. So then my coworker, she had some almond, um, almond whip topping instead of the regular milk one. You know me, I don't care, but I'm telling you, that's what I had. So, so anyway, so I put a little on the top of that, and then I drizzle just a little bit of this on top. Tell me this don't look pretty. Look at me. Look at me being a barista. So, how do you spend your break at work? <laughs> yeah, buddy, but for real, do not add very much of this. I added a little too much because I feel it on the back of my tongue like, oh. So you really, you can't get excited with this stuff because it is, oh. so anyway, but go Terry, go Terry, get your coffee on, get your coffee on, yeah buddy. <laughs> okay, so now I went in and I stirred up the, the whipped cream so I could taste it in my Good job, Terry. Okay, bye. I feel so naughty. I feel like I'm being bad. I don't know why, but I feel like I'm being bad. And I like it. <laughs> bye. Hey there. So supper tonight is my pork cutlets. Same thing I had last night. And I've actually cut it up. And um, instead of the mayonnaise, I put some ghee on it. I was like, oh, I bet that would taste good. So I put a little ghee in there. So, uh. I got my macros at the end of this, don't worry. I'm not gonna keep eating this because it's really hot. And I hate watching people when they slurp their food. And I know I just did that. And I don't wanna do that to y'all. Because that's annoying when I watch people do that. 
Anyway, so I'm having my pork cutlets and my creamy tonight is, um, my goodness, uh, wait a minute, let me find the dealy. Okay, the creamy tonight is equipped strawberry with some banana extract and a fourth teaspoon of glucomannan and a fourth teaspoon of xanthan gum. Looks pretty good, don't it? Let's see. Mm-hmm. That's good. That's really good. I taste that banana and strawberry flavor. Mm, good job, Terry. All right, y'all. I'm going to cut this short. Listen, I know you're going to get this two days later, okay? And I don't like to talk about nothing political or nothing traumatic in the world. It's just not what I'm about. I want to, I want to lightheartedly talk and laugh and have fun and, and just forget the troubles of the world. But I, I am going to say something today. Um, today is Wednesday, and that's Lou bumping you all. Um, and they just had that, that school shooting in Georgia. Um, I do want you all to pray. Uh, I know, you know, you all know that I'm, I'm a Christian. I'm a believer in Jesus. And I'm not, I'm not pro this particular religion or anything. So I just ask all of you to pray. Um, just pray for the families of those who, you know, were, were harmed. And pray for the families of the person that did the harming. You know, that person, something happened in their life to make them like they are and so just just say a prayer for them and and their family and say a prayer for the family of those you know who were harmed um and yeah so i just want y'all to say a prayer for them before you go to bed or start your day or wherever you're at and i'm not gonna pray out loud i just i don't do a good job of that um i love you guys and yeah so tomorrow is tomorrow's thursday ow hang on Listen, did I show you all? I let me show you. Let me see if you can see him. Hang on. Not that cleared up a lot, but let me. I'll still show you. Watch out, Lou Berdue. Lou can help me show you all. I'm telling you what. I am just one. This Plavix. Look, it's Plavix. So don't be thinking nothing. But I got bruise, bruise, bruise. Them are varicose veins. Bruise, bruise. You know, four dogs. Notice my bruise are like from here down, right? Well, you see the level that they are. Yeah. Constantly somebody's bumping into me or knocking me around. So, uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, and then I even somehow managed to get one on my knuckle. Now, how, what kind of weirdness is that? But anyway, I love you guys, and you have a good day. And me and this wild pack... Look at them. Look at these babies. Just look at these babies. Right here. And I got this one. And I got this one. I got this one. So I'm going to go eat my supper. I love you guys. I love you guys. And you all have a good day. And like I said, pray for them people in Georgia. All of them need our prayers. Everybody needs prayers. Let's just pray for the whole world, the whole country, and everybody. And they right new. Let's just pray for them all. Okay, I'm hungry, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Tell them. Say bye, Bumper. Say, oh, that's my lip, Bub. Kiss the heart of my lip. All right, bye. Here's my macros today. So you can see my calories. They're hanging around the right area. All right. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.